back to Live and Breathe Horses at Centre Equestry La Luce. So today Umo and I are just going to do a little bit of simple groundwork. So we're going to do a bit of warm up, just seeing, making sure he's with me, um, just on the rope. You know, remembering that our groundwork is the same work we do when well, we're always on the ground, aren't we? Everything we do, just taking the horse from the paddock to the stable or wherever we take him. And the better we improve our groundwork, you know, it, it reflects through to everything. And of course, we're always building up our relationship with our horse. Why are you hiding behind me, Umo? He's having a bit of a bad hair today. Ha bad hair day. You're a bit frizzy, aren't you, Umo? Anyway, we're going to have a little go with that. And then we're going to do some circles, roll over the hind quarter and carry on in the, in the circle. And just practice the setting off into the circle as well. Okay, Umo, well, shall we see how we get on? Come on then, let's see if you're with me. <laughs> so we're just simply going to go off and just take a walk with the rope loose and I'm just going to walk and just check out if he's staying with me or not so I can make my steps longer, slow my steps down. And here he's a bit struggling to slow down, so when I slow down, he stops and then catches up. So it's a very useful exercise just to walk very slowly. But at least he's not passing me. You know, he's quite willingly staying there with me. And then just stretch the steps out again, let it flow forward. And really using the breath to slow down and speed up is also very useful. And we can do some changes of direction. I'm not worrying really about which side he wants to stay on. And then just to slow down again, using the breath very slowly. And then maybe just to stop from the very slow walk helps the horse just do the right thing, you know. And then just to try a bit of backup. So he doesn't come with me. So I'm putting a bit more energy in there. We get a couple of steps. And I wish I'd taken that one now watching it back. But I had to ask for a bit more, which didn't come. And I had to use my hand. Oh, well, a little learning opportunity for me. <laughs> so we're just going to change direction. And then go from um, a leading position into a circle position which is a nice way to start the circles and just to um, vary the work. So I'm just asking him to go around me in a circle and when that's nice, I can just flow back into my leading position and go back side by side and just feeling that you match the rhythm of your steps with the horse's steps. Plenty of pauses. The breaks are very important. <sighs> Taking a breath when we stop. We're just having some time to check in with your horses. Very important. And with yourself, of course, that's where it all starts. And then just asking him to go out on the circle. So this is a good point about starting off, that the horse should go forward and out and away from you. So there I had to use quite a strong body language to get him to go off out into the circle. So we're just going to repeat that again. Take a little break in between. Make sure he's paying attention to me first, looking where I want him to go. And then I'll just raise up my leading hand to ask him to go. If he doesn't go, I can put energy behind with the other hand. And I can use my body language and energy in towards the girth area to ask him to go out. So that was a bit better there, that one. It's something we need to practice on the left. You know, he does this very well goes out much more easily on the right and it's quite a thing you know often people say they have trouble getting the horse to go out well into the circle on the lunge so it's um something we can practice and now we're just going to roll the hindquarters over a few steps so just walking in with energy towards the hindquarters raising the leading hand up to the hip and with rhythm in time with the steps timing very important and when you get a couple of nice steps rolling over behind, just open the inside hand again, inside or leading hand, out and forward, and back out onto the circle. And just go back into flow with the horse's steps on the circle. And then stopping, really by stopping your energy. <sighs> on a breath, let it come down, just stop. There we've got a nice bit of licking and chewing going on. So that's always a good sign that he's relaxed and accepting the work. 
So we just try the same exercise on the other side. Just asking him to go out on the circle. I'm just using the tail of my rope here for energy if I need it. You can also use a flag if that's better or a stick or whatever you like. So again, rolling the hindquarters over. Just little give and takes with the rope. In time with the back feet. So when the inside foot's on the ground, of course, is the moment the outside one can open out. Couple of steps back into the circle and always some bits in between walking forward. So there maybe I put a bit much energy in or he just felt the need to release a bit of energy and went off into a little trot. So that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. He's not running away. Just let him have a nice little trot around and then we can go back in and try again. Again with the breath and watching the expression. I could have maybe waited for a slightly nicer flick of the ear, better expression there. Watching it back. So, and now we're just going to do a bit of work with the flag, just to ask the circles to have a bit more bend. So the horse is really bending on the shape of the circle. So I'm first just checking that he's fine with the flag. You know, he's not running away from it. He's not scared of it. We haven't had it out for a little while. So it's always good just to check that over. And then just using little movements of the flag in the girth area, as I ask with the inside hand, bend towards me. And the flag just asks his body to stay out. And as soon as we get a nice bit of bend, we can just stop, take a break, have a little rub, <sighs> have a breath. And then asking him to go off again. So, I mean, I could also have used the flag there to ask him to go more out onto the circle. But yeah, here we're just more focusing on getting a bend, you know, making very correct little circles, which will reflect onto when we do it ridden. Nice. And again, just stopping with stopping the energy. So that's just bits and pieces of what we've been doing today. So we're just going to take the halter off. I always like to finish with the halter off and give the horse a chance to go and roll if they want to roll. And it's just nice to see what they do, you know. If they turn around and run off, then we know we need to um, do a bit more work <laughs> on the relationship, see what's going on there. So, yeah, I'm just checking the camera because I'm uh, filming without Alba, of course, here, and I'm worried the camera's not working put my flag on the wall and he decided he wanted to go and eat my flag so I just use a little bit of energy towards the hindquarters there with my fingers look just to ask him to move on and as soon as we get a bit of movement just drop the hand down and then just pick up the steps and just walk with the horse and then I'm going to just try a little bit with my body language, just bringing my shoulder round to see if I can get him just to come round me in a circle. So basically just what we've been doing, um, but without the halter on now. So it's just a bit to get creative, you know, and try different things, see what's working, pay attention to what's not working. So he's having a lovely stretch of the jaw there. So that's a great moment to finish on. That's like an extension of licking and chewing. So that's, I think, just him saying, oh gosh, I'm feeling even better now. I'm relaxing, having a bit of release, you know, depending how much they've got to release, how much they're going to do this or not. And then at some point I got a lovely, just <sighs> big breath from him. So that for me is the best reward. <laughs> so thank you for being with us today. See you next time.